Hey, this is the Bomb Nurse. Today I am here with another new video and where we will discuss regarding oncology. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. There way you will be knowing whenever I am online. Before getting into the main topic, nursing management of patients with oncological conditions, we should know the meaning of some important uh, words which we'll be using in this chapter. So without wasting any more time, let's start. One, two, three, four. The first one is alopecia, A-L-O-P-E-C-I-A. That means hair loss. Let me tell you, uh, this is not a symptom of cancer, but an adverse effect of cancer treatment, that is maybe radiation or chemotherapy, uh, there can be, there will be lots of hair loss and that is called alopecia. Next one is anaplasia, A-N-A-P-L-A-S-I-A, anaplasia. The cells that lack normal characteristics and differ in shape and organization with respect to their uh, cell of origin. That means these cells actually lose their characteristics, their shape. Okay, uh, they will look abnormal than the normal one. Okay, usually anaplastic cells are malignant. Moving on to the next one that is carcinoma, C-A-R-C-I-N-O-M-A, -C carcinoma. What it means? Actually, it means cancer cells, a form of cancer that is composed of epithelial uh, tissues and which have the tendency to uh, infiltrate the surrounding tissues and also eventually it will spread to the distant sites that means uh, distant tissue or organs okay next one is carcinogenesis i told about carcinoma right that is a cancer cell so the process of transforming this normal cell to a cancer cell this process is called carcinogenesis is that clear this is how a normal cell transform into a cancer cell that will be called carcinogenesis Next one is dysplasia, D-I-S-P-L-A-S-I-A, -S dysplasia. What it means? Bizarre cell growth resulting in the cells different shape or size or arrangement in the same tissue or organ. In easy words, maybe there will be presence of abnormal cells uh, in the same tissues or organ that means normal cell and abnormal cell staying uh, in one tissue, in same tissue. Okay, that will be called dysplasia. Let me tell you, dysplasia is not cancer cells, but later on in future, it may become uh, cancer or cancer cell. Next one is hyperplasia. Hyperplasia means increasing cell count in the tissue is called hyperplasia, but not in the size if there is increase in size of cells in the tissue it will be called hypertrophy next one is neoplasm n-e-o-p-l-a-s-m neoplasm what it means it means it's an abnormal new growth of cells which serves no useful service for our body uh, ulta it will harm our body or host body so that is called neoplasm literally we can say it's a starting of a cancer or we can say it's a, a birth of a cancer cell into our body that will be called neoplasm the last one but not the least metastasis m-e-t-a-s-t-a-s-i-s metastasis is the ability of the neoplastic cell to spread from the original site of the tumor to the distant sites that means what the ability to spread of that particular cancer cells to uh, from one site to another site is called metastasis let me give one example maybe uh, someone has cancer in the lung okay lung cancer after maybe after a few years you are coming to know that the person is having cancer in the stomach or liver or somewhere else so what happened 
that cancer cells they spread to uh, another parts of our body from the uh, lung so this process is called metastasis so that's all for today. If you find this video useful or informative, please give it a big fat thumbs up and share your advices in the comment section. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay good, stay healthy. Bye-bye.